I talk a lot about Ashburn, what it's like to live here, the neighborhoods, cost of living, but those are all pretty well-known things. So today I thought I would mix it up a little bit and take you on a little tour and show you some of the lesser known facts about Ashburn. We're gonna talk some history, some entertainment, some sports and more, so stay tuned. Hey everyone, Stephanie Callahan here, broker and co-owner of 15 West Homes, located right here in Northern Virginia. I've lived in Ashburn for the past 20 years and I have seen so much change and development happen in that time frame. sometimes it's hard to believe. Today, I'm gonna to share with you seven things that you may not know about the Ashburn area. And if nothing else, it should make for some good conversation and maybe even help you out on trivia night. Let's get to it. Let's start with a little bit of history. Ashburn was originally known as Farmwell or Farmwell Station. And the name Farmwell first appeared in the 1802 will of George Lee in reference to the name of a plantation that he had inherited from his father. But according to local legend, the term Ashburn came about when a bolt of lightning struck a tree, happened to be an ash tree, and the tree burst into flames. And then according to the stories, continued to smolder for several days. People apparently came from across the area to see the burning tree. And from that time forward, that farm was known as Ashburn. In the late 1800s, the US Post Office was concerned about potential confusion between Farmwell and Farmville, which is located in Prince Edward County in Virginia. So at that point, the name Ashburn was adopted for our area. And although the term Ashburn has been used for more than a century to refer to this area, you will still see the name Farmwell in the names of neighborhoods, streets, and a local middle school. My next fact may fall into the more well-known category if you've ever driven through Ashburn or if you've ever watched any of my other videos. And that is the fact that Ashburn is known as the data center capital of the world about 70% of the world's internet traffic flows through Ashburn, and we have almost 30 million square feet of data center capacity. A lot of people know about that. But what I think is really fascinating is that these data centers generate almost $600 million in tax revenue every year. And that is enough to cover all of the operating expenditures for the Loudoun County government. So that's pretty cool. The other thing is that they provide a lot of jobs. While it doesn't take a lot of people to run data centers, there are about 3,000 people that are employed directly with the data centers, and they support about another nine to 10,000 jobs in the community, not including construction. Our next stop is the ballpark, a 24,000 square foot indoor baseball and softball training facility and active entertainment center. It is the only active entertainment baseball facility in the country. And if you're not exactly sure what that means, think Top Golf for baseball. Let's go check it out. Video backdrops simulate all the major league ballparks, complete with base runners and fielders that respond according to how the hitter performs. You can choose from any major league ballpark from around the country, and you can try your hand at different levels of play through a variety of game modes. They have a full restaurant and bar, making it a great place to get out for date night or just to hang out with friends. It's also a great place to bring the team out for a little practice. Calling all football fans, our next fact is that Ashburn is home to Commander's Park. The Washington Commanders play at FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland, but their training center and headquarters is located right here in Ashburn, Virginia. Commander's Park is a 162 acre complex located off of Loudoun County Parkway in Northern Ashburn. It houses three grass fields, a turf field inside this bubble that you see behind me and sports medicine facilities. This is where they have recently held training camp and it's open to the public. Fans can come watch practice and potentially meet some of the players. Because the training facility and headquarters is here, a lot of players actually live in the Ashburn area. So keep your eyes open. You might just see them out and about in the community. 
Ashburn is lucky to have three different farmer's markets. The Eat Loco farmer's markets take place in three different locations. The largest one is at One Loudon and happens on Saturdays from 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. The two other locations, one at Loudon Station near the Metro and one in Brambleton near the Town Center, take place on Sundays between 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. These markets are open year-round, so you can always find seasonal goodies as well as great year-round treats. With more than 30 different breweries, Loudoun County boasts a vibrant craft beer scene, and we have several right here in Ashburn. We have Old Ox, Lost Rhino, Dynasty Brewing, and The Craft of Brewing. And it's not just about great beer. Each of these breweries offers a ton of great events from live music to trivia, bingo, karaoke, pints with pups, and so much more. They also offer games like pool, darts, shuffleboard, air hockey, and pinball. And the Craft of Brewing has facilities so that you can brew your own beer. They have an easy step-by-step -step process and they guide you along the way so that you can make your own perfect pint. Next up, another piece of history. Ashburn is home to one of the few remaining one-room African-American schoolhouses in Northern Virginia. This school behind me was originally built in the late 1800s and served the African-American community until the mid-1950s. The schoolhouse on its own is pretty interesting, but there is a much more inspiring story to go along with this little one-room schoolhouse. Back in 2015, Students at the Loudoun School for Advanced Studies noticed that the building was in really disrepair and made it their class project to raise funds towards the restoration of the schoolhouse. Between 2015 and 2016, they held bake sales, started a GoFundMe page, and they raised about $20,000 towards the repair and renovation of the schoolhouse. Sadly, about a month later, the school was vandalized. There was hate speech and profanity spray painted on the walls, um, but it turns out there was a silver lining. That tragic event brought community awareness and an outpouring of donations. In a very short period of time, they actually were able to reach their goal of $100,000 in fundraising, and the schoolhouse has been beautifully restored. Our final stop is Clyde's Willow Creek Farm. It's part of the Clyde's Restaurant Group, a company that owns and operates 12 restaurants throughout the DC metro area but this location is very special and very unique. Clyde's Willow Creek Farm looks a lot like a quaint old inn, like a lot of other restaurants here in Northern Virginia. But it turns out it really is a quaint old inn from 1807 and transported here from Vermont. It's also a house, the Roxbury House from 1810 and a barn from 1885. Back in the 1980s, the Clyde's Restaurant Group purchased several antique heavy timber buildings destined for demolition and over 20 years later, these barns, stables, homes, and taverns were reassembled to create the complex of dining rooms for Clyde's at Willow Creek Farm. This horse and carriage is the scene of perhaps the most shocking secret from Clyde's. On opening night, staff members noticed that the carriage was rocking back and forth. When they opened the door, they found two partygoers inside. Let's just say they were busy. That's a wrap. Hopefully you learned some things that you didn't know about Ashburn. And if you'd like to know more about what it's like to live, sleep, eat, work, and play in Ashburn or anywhere in the Northern Virginia area, be sure to click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're reminded every time we add a new video to our channel. We get so many calls, texts, and emails all the time from people moving in Northern Virginia and we absolutely love it. So if you're even thinking about making a move, you need to write us an email, give us a call, shoot us a text, days, nights, and weekends, we've got your back when it comes to moving to Northern Virginia. See you next time.